Okay friends, in this video tutorial we will be talking about a serious concern, a serious medical concern which is called stroke. Okay, now what is stroke? Stroke is a problem uh, with our blood circulation system. Now, obviously it is linked with two important things. One is our blood circulation between our heart and between our brain. So we are having heart from which blood is pumped through all over the body. Now if we draw this image here what we can get that this is suppose this is our heart so let me draw the heart simply like that if this is our heart and if this is our brain okay let's let me draw this okay let's say if this is the structure of the brain so there is a flow or flow of blood between this blood uh, this, this heart and and brain and obviously this blood flow is connected what we call with with arteries and obviously so let's say here usually there are two different pairs of artery that are placed between the blood flow between heart and brain so let me write it here if this is brain and this is heart so when we are talking about stroke we are talking about the blood flow between these two important parts now what blood is actually doing blood is actually supplying nutrients as well as oxygen from from our uh, oxygen from our lungs to all the rest of the cells of our body like cells of brain cells of liver kidney and all the cells so it's the most important part of the blood right so the job of the blood is to supply oxygen and supply food now if suppose somewhere in our uh, some some cell of our uh, of our body if they don't receive oxygen or food as a result of lack of oxygen and food after some time they will die because for the living of all the living cells they must require oxygen and food okay now in this case what we can see uh, we will be focusing on only in the cells that are present in the brain because that what stroke is all about now in case of stroke what we see in this case is that the blood flow between this heart and brain is getting halted it is getting halted as a result of blood flow blockage or any kind of hemorrhage or leakage of the blood the blood the, the brain cells will not get enough blood supply that is the major part of about the stroke they won't get maximum amount of or, or the desired amount of uh, blood supply as a result of lack of blood supply there is a lack of oxygen so oxygen content to this brain cells becoming less as well as the food content so lacking the oxygen and food content the brain cell will start to die so this this particular situation is termed as a brain stroke or simply as stroke okay now when you talk about stroke there are there are certain uh, different type of strokes but mainly we'll be focusing on brain stroke because when you term as stroke majorly it is talking about the brain stroke okay now in this case usually there are two different pairs of arteries that supply blood to our brain one artery one pair of artery supply this so if I do two different pairs I'm not doing the pairs so just this is one type of blood vessel this is another type now this pair which is supplying uh, the brain with uh, in the frontal brain as well as in the middle uh, brain this particular artery is called carotid artery carotid artery and the second pair of artery which supplies the blood to the brain uh, or, or the uh, or the post posterior side of the brain is called basilar artery so these are the two different arteries that are important and that are supplying blood from heart to brain okay and heart from where heart is getting oxygen from heart where heart is getting this uh, food uh, encoding blood that the blood that are present in our body it is reached with nutrient sources and the nutrient source they get is from the intestine because remember when you digest a food it, it is uh, chewed out into smaller fragments and those fragments are getting absorbed in our intestine finally and then all of this food materials are present in the blood so if I draw it here two different things so if this is the intestine due to this absorption of this food in the intestine so food is absorbed here as a result this food containing blood so if, we, if I write here the blood this blood get this food source and then it bring it here and the oxygen this heart is getting or the blood is getting oxygen from remember lungs right so if you talk about lungs 
sorry not h so they are getting this blood from lungs so lungs is providing us oxygen and then it provides air so now if we talk talk about blood present in our heart here if we talk about the pure blood which is containing both oxygen as well as food, food source food source is from the intestinal absorption and oxygen is from the lungs right and both of them are carried now now what what is the goal of this heart is to deliver this oxygen and put enriched blood from cell to cell now it is also providing this blood to other regions other regions like for example see if i draw it it provides it, it into kidney it provides it into liver so it provides actually in all the place it's not only uh, to the blood all the different places but when there is a problem between this blood supply between the heart and brain cell and due to any kind of blockage or hemorrhage or any kind of breakage between this journey there is a loss of blood uh, and lack of oxygen and food supplement to the brain cell they start to die they start to starve and die right now this particular condition is termed as stroke okay so that is it now if if now we talk about the different type of stroke and what will be the causes of the stroke that we can uh, tell a, a very important insight is that that there are two different major waves uh, of of uh, cutting the blood supply from heart to the brain and what are the two different uh, technique one is that one technique is uh, what we can say uh, supply is any kind of blockage right so any kind of blockage blockage of blood supply and second type it could be any kind of uh, less so actually both of this case are resulting in the less blood supply to the brain cell that is what uh, which is causing the stroke the first thing that can happen is any kind of clot blockage due to formation of clot and second thing is a less blood supply due to any kind of say uh, mechanical shearing or rupturation of the blood so rupturation of blood vessel okay so these are the two major ways that a stroke can can be obtained right now in this case of blockage so when we talk about blockage let's say if this is a if this is a blood vessel now it, there can be any kind of blockage any kind of clot clot arise in due to any kind of what we can say plaque formation in the blood vessel plaque can be formed due to the presence of cholesterol we all know that in, if you in the blood there is a lot of more cholesterol they can produce uh, what you can say plaques or you can say clots now those clot are jamming the tunnel so if you think about this blood vessel as a tunnel so if you think about it as a tunnel so let let us think so if this is a tunnel there is a particular region for the blood flow now if there is any kind of plaque like that let's say this this black thing is a plaque so it actually eventually it is jamming this tunnel so less blood will be flowed to this part of the blood vessel from this region so as a result of that it can create trouble any kind of blood uh, cell rupturation can uh, produce clot right so these things can happen and if this occurs this results in the blockage and it eventually results in the stroke and the type of stroke is uh, due to the fo formation of clot or blockage uh, is termed as so let me write it is termed as uh, ischemic ischemic stroke okay and there is a second kind which is due to the less of blood supply due to the blood cell rupture or blood vessel rupturation it can also be a possibility that the blood vessels can be ruptured it can be sheared it can be broken down the link between this can be broken down if it it occurs like that any kind of rupturation uh, like leakage of the blood so let's say if this is a blood vessel so let me draw again so let's say if this is the blood vessel blood is flowing uh, finely but due to any kind of rupturation this blood start to come out now as a result of this blood blood cells coming out less blood is reaching here so if this is the brain and if this is the heart less blood is reaching the brain now so as a result brain cell receive less oxygen and food so same similar kind of thing occurs as a result uh, it will result in the stroke right now this kind of stroke due to any kind of blood vessel shearing or leakage of the blood is called as hemorrhagic hemorrhagic stroke so these are the two different type of stroke or major two different type of strokes okay now this is all about stroke this is what uh, stroke is generally uh, about then in the next video we'll be talking about the pathophysiology of stroke and we'll be taking uh, this uh, 
ischemic as well as this hemorrhagic stroke as an example both of them as an example and we'll be looking at what are the different modifications and changes that are occurred during these two different types of strokes okay so that's it i hope that's helpful thank you